Hi, I'm Tracy, and again, I'm the Brain Tumor Bitch. And I know if you haven't seen the first episode, you're probably going, did she just say what I think she said? And the answer is yes, I did. I am so proud of wearing that name. If I could get a big B on a cape, I would be wearing it. Um, I'm an almost 10-year survivor of brain cancer, and I've been through it all. Surgery, paralysis, radiation, napping, seizures, hair loss, medication. I mean, you name it. I've been through it. And I'm doing these three-minute episodes to talk to other brain cancer patients or brain tumor patients or patients whose lives have really been interrupted by a terminal illness. <laughs> and if you're one of those patients, you know what I mean. So today's episode, and again, just three minutes, so hang out with me, folks, is about napping because that's a really huge issue. And I talk to patients every, almost every day about things they're going to have to add into their schedule. And the reality is, is once you've had a brain tumor, your brain has been affected and napping is now a part of your day. And it's a really hard thing to do. I was diagnosed at 36 when my daughter was just 18 months old. And I remember going to her preschool and she did this assignment. It was a big poster about what do your parents do? And I remember going in and being so excited. My, um, at the time he was my, my boyfriend, he's now my husband drove me down to the preschool so I could see this wonderful thing that she did. And it said, what color are mom's, is mom's hair? Brown. What color are her eyes? Brown. Do you have any dogs? Yes, our dog is named Coco. Do you have any siblings? And then it says, what does mom do? What does dad do? And when it got to what does mom do, instead of saying advertising, marketing, everything that I did in Connecticut Brain Tumor Alliance, she said sleeping. And that was really, I started to cry in the middle of the preschool room because I thought this is how my children will remember me one day, was sleeping. The other day on Facebook, there was a questionnaire being sent around by parents that you were supposed to ask your kids to answer those questions. My daughter's now 10. And when we got to the question of what does your mom do, she said she helps brain cancer patients. And that's an amazing thing to hear from you. So napping is hard and it sucks and you feel like you're missing beautiful days and you're missing school things with your kids and you're missing work and you're missing your friends. Um, the naps are crucial when you get up from them, get dressed, get out, make phone calls, get back on the computer and have your life again because the nap is really what allows you to have more life. So if you avoid the nap, trust me, your body will repay you, and then you'll be napping even more the next day. So go down for your naps. I will be too today, and then get up and enjoy the rest of what you have, because what you have is amazing. So episode two of The Brain Tumor Bitch. Please tune in. I'm going to do another episode on, well, we have some good ones coming up, sex, because that's huge. Um, we're going to talk about medications. We're going to talk about seizures and you know, some good conversation. So thank you for joining me for these three minutes, but I'm done. I'm up. So enjoy your day. Take a nap. Take care.